I am Bishop Tipper from Calvary Family Church, UK, based in Nottingham. We are in a 10 days time of prayer in this year's Thy Kingdom Come season. I'm reading from 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 to 10. 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 to 10. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore him with sorrow. Now Jabez called upon the God of Israel, saying, All oh, that you may bless me indeed, and enlarge my cost, and that your hand might be with me, and keep me from evil, so that I may not cause any pain or grief. And God granted him all that which he requested. As a hand of faith was putting together the genealogy of the tribe of Judah, listing down all the great people that came from the tribe, piling those greats in numbers of four or five per verse, it had to stop on verse 9 and committed two whole verses to this one individual who started off poor and sickly. And the Bible shows him as a son of sorrow, pain and grief in his clan and that he was insignificant in the entire crown as he had achieved nothing till one day when he came to the realization that calling upon the God of Israel makes all the difference. And when God heard his prayer, he granted him all that which he requested, and from nowhere he became more honorable than his brethren. Many great things and beings are birthed in pain. Even babies are mostly delivered through many pains, snares, and dangers. But once we allow our snares to be engulfed by the presence of God, a higher level of honor comes into prayer. This was Jabez's salute to destiny. Though his beginning was through pains and many hard situations, but his latter end greatly glorified the name of the Lord. After he fully poured himself to God in prayer, he moved from pain to gain, from scars to stars, and from miseries to victories. His labor was now full of favor. The wealth of health became his portion, and instead of hearing sorrowful sympathies from his mother and his brethren, he could hear the sound of abundance coming to wipe away his drought and leave him with the blessing of the Lord that brings wealth and adds no sorrow with it. Affluence, influence, and prominence became his hallmarks in the city. He had tapped into the God who is able to do exceedingly abundant above all that we ask or think according to his power at work in us. The faith chemistry between God and the prayer warrior is like a time bomb ready to explode at any moment. There is dynamic or tremendous power in waiting in your faith prayer room. Though you may start your journey to destiny with struggles or wrestlings, prayer helps you to finish well and to finish strongly to the glory of God. We may be in a similar situation as a small city today, but even in the times of Jesus, some people were asking, can anything good come out of Nazareth? But look at the huge blessings and even joy to the whole world that small town has brought. Similarly, as a body of Christ in this city of Nottingham, we can pray in, even in our situation till we see our, our, the blessing of the Lord covering our city and not the case. The power of God released and even our entire nation and the world at large blessed and the sorrows and or griefs of our day gone in a moment and people rush to the mountain of the house of the Lord as it will be exalted above all other mountains of the day, be it viruses, evil schemes of the enemy and the like. May God grant our request today as we pray together. Even as Jabez wrapped his face in his faith towards God, similarly today, let's wrap our faces in his faith and speak right into the face of the mountain that may be bothering us in the current challenging environment in Jesus' mighty name. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may your kingdom come over the city of Nottingham and the rest of the world. All that we may come out of this situation with a blessing indeed. And because we know that we are not a pathetic people, but we are a pro prophetic people, even in pathetic situations. We have come into the kingdom for such a time as this. And let it be to your glory and honor 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we praise you. Amen.